Hi, everybody, and welcome to Making Sense with Dustin LaMontagne of Mackey Research Capital. I'm Bryn Griffiths. Hello, Dustin. How are you today? I'm uh, real good, Bryn. How are you doing? Well, the season is changing. We're already a few weeks into going back to school. And uh, for some parents, that is a wonderful thing for students, not so wonderful. Going back to school and that kind of thing, when you start taking a look at the school calendar, does that change how people approach, how they approach business at all or no? Well, I think that, uh, you know, you're coming off summer, July and August is always uh, really slow. In fact, uh, even when I try to meet with clients, a lot of times they say, just contact me in the fall. Um, but, uh, you know, my, my life still seems to revolve around the school calendar. Of course, I have, uh, I've, I've got three kids, uh, you know, 6, 12, and, and 16, and my oldest is going into grade 12 this year. So this is a big year uh, on the school calendar for my family. Uh, it, you know, I got a, uh, my, my son's going into grade 12, going to graduate, and uh, it, it, it kind of gives me perspective, not only to remind me that I'm a little bit uh, long, getting a little bit long in the tooth uh, <laughs> year after year, but also it uh, kind of reminds me to remind my clients that do have kids uh, to look look at the education options, RESPs and so forth, and do a little bit of a tune-up. And I've done that in my own portfolios, uh, and, and I, I'm encouraging clients uh, to do the same. So... Well, there's a little snap in the air like right now. And also we're now in a uh, federal election campaign mode. Wow, this is kind of a crazy month going into the month of October. Where, where, do, you, where do you direct people? What sectors look attractive right now? Well, I, I think by and large, I don't change my outlook, you know, just because it's fall. Uh, but we do tend to get a little bit more volatility in, in September and October. Everybody remembers that Black Black uh, Monday crash in 1987 where the market went down 20%. Uh, I think there, there's some curbs in, in the, the markets now that prevent that sort of a catastrophic drop. Uh, but... Uh, you can still have a lot of volatility. And uh, when I look at sectors, I, I go back to my, my old uh, mainstays. Uh, I, I invest in sectors that, you know, pe- people in, in, in sectors, products and services that people use on an everyday basis. Like a bank? Bank is a, is a good one. Uh, I spent 15 years working in, in the banking system, and I can tell you that they make pretty good profits. So uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I won't have a client that doesn't have a good percentage in financial stocks, uh, telecoms, pipelines. Uh, I, I'm starting to look at a sector that's a little more defensive in nature, and that's gold stocks. The price of gold is uh, has gone up to an all-time high in Canadian dollar terms. It's around $2,000 an ounce. And uh, gold tends to be very defensive. So as we get longer into this uh, bull market, uh, we're approaching uh, almost uh, the 10-year mark now that stocks have been, been rising. Uh, I'm looking at sectors that can be a little more defensive, uh, not only for... Uh, you know, uh, to keep keep capital intact, but also to to make some returns. Uh, for, we we call it negative correlation in portfolio management. If if something's going up, you you want something. Uh, you know, if something's going down, you want something that consequently is going to go up to balance out your portfolio. So, way back in the '90s, gold was really low, and then just grew and grew and grew. And now, anytime it seems to jump, it's minimal. But anytime it drops, it's minimal. That's going to be a good thing, is it not? Yeah. If histor- you're looking for stability, I guess. Historically, it's been a, a hedge. And, uh, you know, if, if you look back over, uh, you know, the last couple of centuries, gold has steadily increased. There's been times, you know, 20, 30 years where it's been stagnant, and then it takes a, a big run in a short period of time. So like any other commodity, it can be very volatile, but it, it is one of the sectors that I've started to, to tiptoe into. Okay, so with the election coming up here on the 21st of October, it's about a month away. A lot of people are wondering what's going to happen, who's going to be the next government, is there going to be a change in government? And a lot of people are also watching their 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 pipeline or their oil stocks very carefully. Are you already starting to tune in a little bit on that to see if there's any wavering? Yeah, I think there's going to be uh, some opportunities that arise out of this election. Uh, of course, it, it'll be short-term in nature. Ultimately, um, I, I keep keep 
pushing clients to think long term, long term, uh, because you know staying invested is is uh, how you make money. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, you know, com- company share prices are determined by uh, n- not only the what's going on in the short term, but their their profit potential going forward. So, uh, I, I like to invest in sectors that pay dividends, and uh, I'm not going to change uh, my tact. You know, there'll be some tweaks here and there, but uh, ultimately, uh, you know, whoever wins that federal election will not determine um, ultimately how we're investing long term. Like that. Anything else as we uh, are at the halfway point of the month of September that you want to pass along to anybody? I think just, uh, you know, if you're out there and you're feeling a little bit nervous or cautious, um, give give us a call and, you know, we can explain what's what's going on in the current environment, how that's going to impact your money. Uh, because uh, at the end of the day, we're all, you know, invested for the long term and we want to see, see you do what's right for your money. All right, kids, get back to school. That's enough. And everybody else, make sure you give Dustin a call. That's it for today. We'll have more helpful hints coming your way next week. And just a reminder, the markets and financial numbers change frequently. And what is said today by us can easily change by later today or even overnight tomorrow. It's uh, it's a crazy world out there, but we're trying to bring a level of stability to it. For more information, contact Dustin at Mackey Research capital. And also you can give them a shout at 780-905-7729. Or you can email him at dlamontang at mackeyresearch.com. I will spell that for you. It's D-L-A-M-O-N-T-A-G-N-E. Correct? You bet. Whew. Takes the pressure off me. You can check out the website too, which is mackeyresearch.com. Thanks for listening to Making Sense. Like I said, we're back next week. We look forward to it. Have yourself a great day. 